For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. I magnify mine office. For if thou wert cut out of the olive tree which is wild by nature, and were graft contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these which be the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree? Paul answers that question for us. The Gentiles are the wild olive tree, and the Jews are the domestic olive tree. Now we see the two anointed, Christ and Aaron, and we see the two olive trees, which are the assemblies of the Israel of God, Aaron being high priest, and the assembly that includes the Gentiles in Christ. Christ said about this law of God as given to Moses. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. So we can safely conclude this. The oil must be the knowledge of the law of God under Moses and high priest Aaron, which law Christ continues to fulfill even today, and the testimony of Christ under his Melchizedek high priesthood. The wise virgins have both the law of God in Moses and the testimony of Christ, so they have enough oil. The foolish virgins, lacking the foundation of knowledge of the Mosaic law that brings us to Christ, do not have enough oil. The foolish virgins, having only the New Testament, ignored the law of God until it was obviously they needed to understand this law and its festivals. Because they had run out of knowledge and their light was dimming, and then they wanted the wise to give them that knowledge, but since it takes time to build up knowledge of that kind, there was not enough time for the wise to train the foolish, and the foolish were sent away to buy books and learn the law and festivals for themselves. You can buy knowledge and books about the festivals Christ is fulfilling, but you cannot buy the Holy Spirit. Without knowledge, the foolish, vir the foolish virgins were not in the proper place at the proper time. So Christ came and took those who were there and ready, and the door was closed. It was too late. The lamps were now brightly lit, but were shining into the darkness, and the darkness understood it not. Too late. Too late. The law and the testimony allow us to know the full will of the Father, and so illustrate to us the truth of our good works, and most importantly, allow us to gain the knowledge that Christ will come on a special God-appointed feast day, thereby fulfilling that day. Christ, speaking of the Passover feast under the law of Moses, testifies to us that he is fulfilling this law, and he will be fulfilling it long past the time when we are all in his holy kingdom. And he said unto them, With desire I have desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I say unto you, I will not any more eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took the cup and gave thanks and said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. Christ's own words. The law of Moses with his feasts are not yet fulfilled, and the New Testament gives ample, ample evidence that both the law of Moses and the testimony of Yeshua Messiah are vital to those who would go in through the door. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. The commandments of God contain those feasts taught in the law of Moses. So you won't miss Christ's lawful assembly when he comes to take his virgins. That event will come once and then never come again. Gather your oil now while you can. Go and learn the other half of your faith. Go and learn the festivals of the law of God and God's commandments 
and then you will have an ample supply of oil, and you will understand on what feast day your Lord will return, and on what feast he defeats Satan and the world. So when the cry comes, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, you will have your oil, and you will be ready to go on into eternal life.